either in the studio or in our nice new cookery room. Now, this has been signed by the entire class. After a challenge like that, what could he do but pick up the gauntlet, or in this case, of course, the oven glove, and meet the boys on their home ground? The cookery teacher and referee was Mrs. McGuire. This morning, lads, we're going to be making a scone-based pizza. I was up against the six crack cooks of the class, and they all looked as if they meant business. The dish of the day was pizza deluxe, with a standard base of tomatoes and onions, but the other ingredients for each topping was a matter of the contestants' ingenuity. Regular seven or 200 degrees centigrade. If you're all sure uh, about the work that you're going to be doing, you can go back to your places and start now. Off you go. The battle is on. All the boys had brought along their own special ingredients for their toppings. Everything from peppers and bacon to salami and sausages. And even if I didn't win, I was determined to look the part in my Christmas present. Ready for action now? Are we all ready, lads? Yes. yes. You've all started. Here I am faffing about. I was working opposite Michael Corder, Mrs. Maguire's favourite to win. He was already chopping away like a veteran. The others looked like dedicated chefs too, and I hope they wouldn't notice the trouble I was having with my mozzarella sure cheese. Working quite how it should, really. But Mrs. Maguire is trained to notice these things, and she soon put me on the right course. I'm having a trouble of bother, or a, even a strabotta bother, with me mozzarella. Yes, I think, you ha I think you are having trouble there. I don't think it was born to be grated, was it? Not at all. It's very soft. It's nearly like butter, isn't it? Yeah. And you can't grate it. Yeah. You'll have to cut it. Do, do the best you can on that side oh, with that's a sharp true. knife. Yeah. Yes. All right, then. Another soft ingredient is the pastry, and another chance for a classy cook to show his flair. Why is it a reddish colour? Well, it's the tomato juice. In, in the, instead of water or milk. I fancied a stronger flavour, so to the onions I added something to give it a real kick. Secret ingredient, crushed garlic. <laughs> Michael wasn't impressed. He was more concerned with my pastry making. Cut it in. Cut it in. You're giving me too many tips now, Michael. Yeah. The competition was proving to be quite a friendly affair. It was just as well because this was the first time I'd made pizza. Before very long, Michael was giving him more advice on how to roll out the base. Like that, eh? And then shape it into a circle. You think it's ready for a circle now? Uh, well, shape it with your hands. Get ready to roll it, roll it out then. <laughs> I always was a messy cook. The other pizzas were starting to take shape, and Mrs. Maguire was particularly pleased with Matthew's sausage topping. Yes, that's very nice. So just two more things to go on there, I think, and it can go in the oven. Well done. The pace was really beginning to hot up, but I wasn't far behind with the Duncan special. Me, if I put any more of these on, there won't be mushroom for anything else. <laughs> for a first-time pizza, things had gone better than I'd expected, and I began to think I might be in with a chance. This is creative cooking at its peak. I was using all my artistic know-how, but Michael couldn't take my topping seriously. Look at that. You're not nervous about the competition, are you? <laughs> Then it was complete. I'd reached the point of no return. Good luck, mate. Go on. After all that creative cooking, I thought it might be time for a breather. But no such luck. Mrs. Maguire likes her kitchen spick and span. Are you going to wash an old white? Yeah, Where do you want to put the wet bits? I'll put the wet bits there. Oh, the dirty The kitchen began to fill with mouth-watering aromas. And in no time at all came my moment of truth. I needn't have worried. My pizza was a sizzling delight of ham, pineapple, cheese and mushroom. It was so big it needed two of us to move it. You drop it now. Drop it now. Look at that. I'm very impressed by that. But my opinion wasn't the one that counted. All the pizzas were going to be judged by one person who's an old friend of Blue Peter. He's an onion soup expert, an experienced chef and runs his own restaurant. Yes. Francois Simmons, six-hour marathon man. Ah, bonjour, Peter. How are you? Very well. Nice to see you. <laughs> We're all a bit nervous. No, don't be nervous. All the pizzas were unidentified, so Francois didn't know whose was whose. Hi. No doubt it's yours. <laughs> oh, a bit. I like the green pepper and the white pepper on the top. Mm. Do you, are you judging the, the look of it as well as the, mm. the taste of it? Mmm. Is that important, sort of? Very important. Mmm. That is nice. There is a bit um, salt, pepper missing. A bit flat, 
but uh, good looking. Yes? I will try the next one. <clears throat> this was mine, and I wondered whether he'd like all oh, that garlic. Fine enough, I believe. Mm. That is a good one. I like that one very much. Mm. Mm -mm. A lot of garlic, very good. Cooked, still raw. Hmm, that is a beautiful one. Excellent. Is that yours, Peter? No, no. Not no. yours? Oh, well, maybe, I don't know. A lot of parsley, nice signature. That one looks very good. Spread. Hmm? Sorry for the tomato. Are you good at sort of knowing what ingredients are in there? I mean, is it easy to pick them out when they're all mashed together? Yes, oh, yes. There's certain flavour which are stronger than others, and uh, for the time being, uh, that one I like very much. I will try the last one. They are quite well cooked. <laughs> I like the anchovy on that one. Francois That's was taking his time to pick weight. the winner. He even felt the weight of the pizzas to make sure we hadn't been too lavish with the ingredients. Is the, is value, for, value for money. Well, it is the usual way to, to go past. Mm. If you give too, too much. Uh, I would think. Just sweating, Francois. <laughs> yes, I do. It's very hard. <laughs> and they're very strong. <laughs> a lot of garlic, a lot of pepper. Yeah. <laughs> But they're very good, and I would think I'm very tempted. It's a close thing, isn't it? It is. The standard is very high. I would think the one which I like very much, it is that one. I would give that as the first. Where is the winner? Where is he? Neil Sampson glowed with pride. He come very first, well, unbeatenly. As I say, the leaves, I like very much. He wasn't the only one. Victor Batista came oh, second. That is a very good one. The third one, I would think, that one looks oh! good. <laughs> is that yours? It is mine, it is yours. <laughs> To be placed is such a thrill. With the judging over, we couldn't wait to taste Neil's prize-winning creation. There you are, Francois. Ah, merci, Peter. All the pizzas made by Mrs. McGuire's young chefs were delicious, and I enjoyed taking up their challenge. It really had been a mouth-watering day, and the sampling the best part of it. I thought he did very mm. well. Yes. Your, it's Never, catchy, yeah. It? yeah. <laughs> nice that he got a prize. Got a it was, prize. Yeah. They looked delicious, didn't they? Mm. All of them. Where's our bit? Yeah. Maybe.